I'm Dr. Lee and thank you for joining me. This is Dr. Lee's Inspiration. Today we'll be talking about moving to a higher level. So if you don't have your Bibles, I want you to go and get your Bibles and I'm going to give you the text that I'll be giving the Bible scripture from. And for the ones that watch the show, and thank you for watching. I've seen some people out in public that have told me they watch the show and they, they enjoy it. The phone calls, the emails. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. It makes me feel good. It makes the staff feel good that we're making a difference. Thank you and continue to tell people about the show and let people know so we can grow and we can spread our message, keep it moving further. But if you don't have your Bible, go and get your Bible. And I'm going to give you a few seconds to go and get your Bible. But while I'm doing that, I want to point out my book, Keep It Moving. And this is my uh, book. It's my platform. Everything I do is keep it moving. I always tell people not another mantra, but a way of life. And it's interesting with this, why you're going to get your Bibles. And I'm thinking of this right now. Um, the Not Another Mantra But A Way Of Life is on the, um, the book. You can order this book off my website, www.pleasekim.com, or you can go to Amazon.com and order the book. But with this book, it's kind of interesting. Whenever I came up with this whole idea, it's interesting how all this like came into work. And I knew it had to be, had to be God because anybody that know me, I don't like to write and I don't like to read. But liking to do something and doing it is two different things. But when I did this book, I made it short and simple for any and everybody to read. It doesn't have all these big, huge words to make, you know, to, to make it sound like, you know, it's just so, I don't know, so all this or that. It's simple because I like to read simple, short books. So I did this for people that's like me that, um, that maybe not the big readers, but we'll read stuff that's good that got our attention. And so with this, this whole keep it moving, how it came about. Like several years ago, I found myself saying, keep it moving. I'll say, I'll say oh, you got to keep it moving. You got to keep it, keep it moving, keep it moving. I tell myself that to encourage myself. But what was interesting, when I came up with the whole keep it moving um, platform, I had no idea about writing a book. I just knew I was saying, keep it moving, keep it moving. And when I was modeling on one of the TV stations, um, this lady, another model, she well, I would see me and she liked to, to hear me talk. She said, oh, you just have an interesting life. You meet all kinds of people. And she said, I just believe in anything you say. She said, the stuff you say and the people you meet. And I'm like, wow. She was like, you just, you, you captivate people. And I'm like, really? And so with that, the lady, she said, you need to write a book. You need to write a book. So I'm like, oh, I'm writing a book. I don't even care much about writing and reading. So why, why would I write a book? Anyhow, the lady Every time we modeled, every time we came on TV, do you know the lady would ask me about the book? She said, have you started your book yet? How far are you on your book? And I was like, okay, this woman either crazy, that's the lady thing, or she's, or she's, she's intelligent, she sees something that I don't see. And so she was intelligent. That's why you can't think negative as far as being crazy. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I don't even like to write and read. She don't know me that well. but. Every time she saw me for a year, I know she would ask me how I started my book. How far along am I? What's the book title name? So I said, this lady actually believes that I can write a book. And I'm like, okay. So one day at home, I wasn't doing anything, and I started typing. And I came up with a title, and the title was just, I don't even know what the title was. And then as I started writing it, and I said, you know what? Keep it moving. Keep, keep it moving. And I got the title, and one day I came in, I was um, getting ready to, to go model, we were getting ready to go on air. And when I did that, it was just interesting. The lady said, you started your book? And I was like, yes. And she was like, oh, yeah. She got all excited. So it was just interesting to me, like, God placed the lady in my life to have me to write this book. And to be honest, I don't know if she even know I, the book is complete. I haven't seen or talked to the lady after we got through um, doing that, um, that, that gig, or however, that, those episodes. I haven't seen the lady. So I don't know if she, her name is in the book. I don't know if she even know that, that, you know, she, she inspired me because she stayed on me about writing the book. And with this, how I say that, I think, what well, I know that it was God, God wants to do this, is because with this, the not another mantra, but a way of life, 
I didn't come up with that either. I'm gonna tell you how that came up, but let me give you, let me give you the um the text, the scripture, so I can go in because it kind of go along with the topic. And so I'm gonna come back to not another mantra, but a way of life. But Hebrews six chapter. I'm gonna read verses one to three. Hebrews six chapter verses one to three, and. Our topic is move to a higher level. Move to a higher level. That's what I want you to do. You at home, sitting there watching, looking at me. Move to a higher level. So let me give you the scripture to this, and I'm going to explain what I mean more about move to the higher level. Hebrews 6, 1 to 3. And this is the King James Version I'm reading from. Therefore, Leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptism, of laying on of hands, of resurrection of the dead, and the eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. I want to say move to a higher level. Get away from dead works. As the Bible verse was saying, dead works. Have faith toward God. Have faith that you can do better. That you are doing better. That you, you're moving on to greater things, better things. Don't let the work that you're in now dictate how your day goes. Don't let things that happen dictate how your day goes. Don't let, you know, because you the things not working out how you plan, don't let that stop you from having a blessed and wonderful day. Take whatever life gives you and just make the best out of it. Move to a higher level. And I have a couple things jotted down here. It means meaning to improve, do better, Get better, do more, learn more, communicate better, act better, your actions should be better. When you move to a high level, you should start to do better. You know, make it an effort. Don't think things is going to happen or change because they're not. You got to make an effort. Um, something else I have written down here, I have, I have the same old story, the same old prayers, same problems year after year. What are you doing to make it better? You ought to get better. Spiritually drained? Mentally drained? Are you physically drained? Do what you need to do to, do, to, to go to the next level. Whatever you need to do to go to the next level, do that. You want to get to a higher level? Sometimes you got to start, and as people you know, I always say, and I'm using this company because I worked there before. McDonald's. Sometimes you got to start working at McDonald's. Nothing wrong with McDonald's. Nothing wrong. Some people get too high and mighty for McDonald's. McDonald's, I always tell people, McDonald's was like one of my favorite jobs. Of all the places I worked, I had a blast. The people I worked with, my co-workers, the, the managers that I worked with, we had a good time. And the guy that owned McDonald's, he was lovely. I mean, and to this day, he's still hiring people and you know giving them a chance so my thing is start you got to start somewhere so wherever it be if you know i say mcdonald's but it's a lot of um, other places but i'm just using that as an example but before i go any further let me go back to the book because i told you i wanted to to explain about you know when you move into a higher level i gotta do something different so like when i wrote this book that was different for me because like i said i don't like to read or write but liking something and Doing what you have to do is two different things. Now you can do something and not care for it, but you know what? If you gotta do it, you might as well, might as well enjoy it. So when I wrote the book, I said, you know what? I'm gonna write a book and I'm gonna enjoy it. So I wrote a book, keep it moving. I wrote it for for things that I like to uplift people, things that have have helped me. So it made the book enjoyable to write because I wrote it for an audience that's like me, they like to be motivated, inspired. And with this, I was saying that how 
if you believe that God put something in your life to do, God will help you. He'll put the right people in your life. He'll put people you, you don't, can't even imagine. People that you think you're there for one, one reason, there for another reason. I never forget whenever I desired and dreamed I want to be on television. I mean, from a little girl. My sister used to tell me, oh, you should be on TV. You're such a good actress. And she would say that because when we were younger, I tried to get out of um, cleaning up and doing things. And I perform, I act like I was sick or I act like, you know, I'm like, oh, my head hurt. I can't do that. And so my sister would say, oh, you should be on TV. And so she started saying that. And it's funny because I asked her one day and she said she remembers kind of remember saying that to me. But she would say that and I had a desire want to be on front of a camera. And I never forget whenever I resigned from my job from the college and moved off to another state and I moved so I can pursue TV. I was like, you know what? I just want to be on there. If I can just be on there, this will let me know that anybody, anybody, if you set your goals and dreams, you can do it. I was like, I'm not trying to be, you know, this big time, you know, star with it. I just want to be on there because I come from a small town. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. But when I was getting ready to um to go and one of my aunts, I never forget, she gave me a makeup kit. And she wrote me a, a long letter and she she said she kinda remembered the letter. She wrote me a letter and it basically said that, you know, to 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 wish me the best and do what um you do and, and she said on that letter, she said, You never know what God has planned for you. She said, you're going to be on TV. You want to do like commercials and um, do a little acting, a little modeling. She said, but you never know where you may end up. You may end up directing. You may end up on filming on camera. You just don't know where, where you may end up. You may end up with your own studio. She, and she said this. And she was just speaking. And I'm listening to her. I'm like, okay, I don't, you know, see any of this right now. But I can see it. You know, I can see I'm starting. My thing, I'm, I'm starting. So to move to the high level, you got to get started somewhere. God will put people in your life, and sometimes people you unexpect to say things or to nudge you or to, to, to push you on, you know, and you don't know why you met this person. And this person may be in your, li in your, in your surrounding only for a, you know, for a month. Could be a year. Could be five years. But then you think back, after it happened, you can connect the dots. So you know what? I met that person so I can do this, do this, and that. Anyhow, going back to the, um, the book, the lady, the lady kept on me about doing the book, and that's when I was modeling. So all this come from me, me going through life issues, life situations, but writing the book. The book gave me, you know, was like, okay, I did this, keep it moving. People, they got the book, they enjoyed it. So it gave me to go to another um, level, and I started doing speaking engagements and everything, inspiring people, and so and here I am today. But with that, the book, when I was getting ready to do the book, I wanted to design, I wanted to be colorful and I wanted to be bright. And I was on the internet, just typing and up across the computer screen. I something from Seattle, Washington, I believe, came up and it was a guy saying that he was a graphic design artist and he can do your logo and all that stuff. And on back of the book, you can see my logo on the web um, page at the end of the show. Anyhow, with that, the um, guy, he designed my logo, and he was a graphic design artist. And I had talked to several, several different artists. And you know, when you're trying to do something, you may not have all the money necessary to do what you need to do. But if you have faith in God, you say, you know what, I'm moving to a higher level, and I got to trust in God. I'm trusting in Him. Gotta make it work. I uh, contacted this guy. He emailed me back like that same day. And he worked on design and did he work? I mean, he sent me so many logos and he just kept changing them and putting them on there. And we got this one, and like, it was a blessing price. Because I talked to some people and the price was going to be like um, a couple thousand, three, four thousand dollars. Because it's, and they, some of them said they can do it for two or three hundred dollars. But if they do that, you only can get one revision. I'm like, well, you can design something for me, you don't know me, and I get one revision. Someone said for each revision, it costs an extra hundred, two hundred dollars. And but a lot of them was giving very big prices. And I understand they went to school for it and they got to make the living. But he designed that for um for me. And when he did, he said, You know what? I'm gonna send it to you in all formats. So if you ever want to put it on t shirts, if you ever want to put it on, you know, whatever, he said, I got all formats for you. And so he did it and he he said, I'm gonna do it in black and white. 
And I was like, this guy's kind. He doesn't, he never, he never met me. Still to this day, maybe one day God blessed me to meet him because he blessed my life. But he, he did all this for me for, I mean, I mean, dirt cheap. Dirt, when I said dirt cheap, dirt cheap. Anyhow, with um, that, he, I mean, he designed it. So I got him to design my book cover. And he designed my book cover. He did all that. Dirt cheap. And, I, and the price he um, charged me, I saw well, some people would just give you a plain color um, book, just like all one color, and with the title on there, for more than what he charged me. And he just did, I mean, he worked, he was a graphic design artist. He had a full-time job, and he was starting his own business on the side. So I guess he just, he enjoyed doing it. But with that, God put him in my life so I can move to a higher level. So I'm moving as I see now how life is progressing. It's not like something that's microwaved this fast. So when you think about going to a higher level, it may not be that fast, Maybe like that. Man, that's not snapping about that. It may not happen that fast, but if you stick with it and you say you trust in God, God will put the right people in your path. Anyhow, going back for the um, the, the the book, I I created my own publishing company. I did everything. I got through the steps to create my own um, book, my own publishing company, and I basically did it all as far as putting it together. And with this. Um, the not another mantra, but a way of life. One of my good friends, she called me a lot. She called me about uh, seven o'clock that morning, which I knew was odd for her to call me that early. And she said, "Oh, I had a dream, and I had to tell you about my dream." She said, "Cause I did not want to forget it." And she said, "I dreamed that you were on a billboard, and the billboard said not another mantra, but a way of life. Keep it moving." And she said, "You stand up there smiling, this big old billboard," and she said, "That was your tagline." And I was like, really? I said, okay. And I said, what was it? She said, not another mantra, but a way of life. She said, I had to tell you. She said, I felt like it was meant for me. I dreamed that to tell you, and I didn't want to forget. She said, if I get started my day, I forget. So she gave it to me, and I said, wow, I like that. And so I use, um, I use that. So what I'm saying is, if you move into a higher level, God will put the right people in your path. Just like um, doing, saying, doing this this television show, you know, I'm calling different people to, to, to film and um, you know, didn't know. I said, I'm going to do it. Uh, first thing I said, I was going to do it. I'm going to do it. I got to figure out how to do it. You know, I know the money. I know I'm, I don't have a full time job and I know money be tight. And then I just, I'm, but I'm going to do it. God, if this is what you want me to do, if you want me to move to a, a different level, do something different to, to touch people, you want me to spread my message. And on the computer one day, and I want to say we were on YouTube or something, and somehow I went from one thing to this and ran across this name, just out the blue, like just the same way I did with this guy here. I ran across the, um, the this name, I called, and voila, and it all just it, it worked out. So what I'm saying is, you're gonna move to a high level. God can put some people in your life to help you get to where you're going. You may not wear it, know for sure where you are going to end up at, but you may have an idea of where you want to go, but you may not have all the money or resources, but God can, God can, he can help you. He, you know, but you got to stay, you got to stay positive. You got to keep that faith, you know, got to get rid of dead works. You can't say you're going to do something and then don't do nothing towards like, say, well, I got faith, you know, so yeah, I got, I got faith that, you know, one day I'm going to, I'm going to go to, go to college and get a degree. But you never, never even go into a college to visit or you never even fill out an application pack. You never even look at a degree you want to take, whatever it is. Or I'm going to go into the military, whatever that you at home, whatever you think you're going to do. Plant a garden. If you don't go and buy some seeds to plant or go get some plants for somebody's house to, to start, you never do it. And do our part. God God definitely he's definitely gonna do his his part on what you know he wants us to do. So what I'm telling you is move to a higher level. And with that, let's see, I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss any of my topics. Um if you got the same old story, same old story, I always tell people it's a, a war story. If you got the same old war story happen year after year, do something different. Do have do something different. I met um, uh, I want to say it was a lady one time, and she had a, a car. And every year she buy a car. Every year she said she buy a car every year. So you buy a car every year? She said, yeah, but it lasts about two or three months. And then you know, then she buy a car and she buy another um another piece of car or whatever. 
And so I'm thinking to myself, well, if you keep buying that same kind of car and it lasts you a couple of months, maybe you need to get a different kind of car. Maybe you may, maybe you should save a little more money, um, um, ride the taxi or bus or whatever, hit your ride, walk, whatever you got to do, bicycle, and get a better car, do something different. And then you won't have to buy that same piece of car every year that you know going to last a month or two. And then after the last a month or two, there it goes, you know. Maybe you want to get a car that lasts a whole year or two or three years or two years or whatever you can afford. My thing is do something different. So, like with that lady that had this um, car, and she said she'd get her a piece of a car. Not people say a piece of a car. That's already sound like it's not going to work too hot. But maybe that's all you can afford. Let's say, for example, I saw a car the other day on sale for $600, and I couldn't resist, and I called to ask the guy. I said, does the car work? You know, does it work? He's like, yeah. If you crank up, he said, well, I'm going to tell you everything that's wrong. And so he told me everything is wrong. He told me a lady had bought the car. But I was just interested because it was at a dealership and had big $600 on there. And I said, well, okay, the person getting it evidently probably knows a mechanic or somebody can get this stuff um, fixed. But let's say take that car to $600 and buy it. And, you know, I don't know how well the car worked or whatever. But let's say it worked for two months or or a month or whatever and it works and it tear up however you have to get around when the car not working you can continue to save up that money let's say for example instead of buying this car for six hundred dollars that you buy every year around five six hundred dollars you can take that five six hundred dollars put it up and keep putting money with it and you can keep on to maybe you get a little more maybe you can get a thousand dollar car two thousand dollar car maybe you know if you begin a two thousand dollar car maybe you want to get a car that's you know four or five thousand dollars and what i mean by that because the car costs four or five thousand dollars doesn't mean that the car is going to be a good car what i'm saying is a lot of time you um you'll pay for pay for whatever you you get but then god can um, bless you if you do your part and so you know i'm gonna say maybe you can get a car for um two thousand dollars that may last you um, two or three years. I heard people, people that 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 has actually had that happen. They pay some for a car, maybe a thousand, two thousand dollars, and they said the little car been been doing fine. So what I'm saying is, just do something different. So if you, if you like the woman, you have to keep buying a car every year. Maybe she should stop buying the car every year, save that money, and maybe get one that's a little a better, maybe with something with a warranty. I don't know, but do something different if you want to move to a higher level. So the same old sad stories, stop those same old sad, sad stories. Do something different. Move to a higher level. If you want to move to a higher level spiritually, maybe you need to go to Bible study. Maybe you need to go to carpet prayer. Maybe you need to read more. Maybe you need to pray more. Whatever it is that you need to do, you should do it. Try it. Increase. Move to a higher level. You shouldn't let 2000 and you should say, you know what, this is this is 20, 2013. You should let 2013 be the same as 2012. And you should let 2014 be the same as 2013. You know, and on, 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 on. You should say, you know what, I'm going to change something. I'm going to change something. I'm going to do something, something different. So you should do that. You should do something different to get to a different level. And if you... If you're drained mentally, maybe you know, maybe you need to take a vacation, take a weekend getaway. Some people, all they do is work, 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 work. They work, 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 and they they never, never, never have time to enjoy. All they do is work, 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 and pay bills. Work, 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 pay bills, and then they complain. You know, I'm tired. I, you know, I'm always broke. Maybe you need to take a vacation. Maybe you need to drive an hour or two away. Maybe you need to drive six hours away. Whatever you can afford to do. Maybe you need to stop. So you know what? I'm going to take me and my wife and kids or me and my grandkids or me and my husband or me and my aunt or nephews or nieces or whoever, me, my coworkers, my friends. We all going to go on a vacation. We're going to take us a weekend getaway because I'm mentally drained. I'm going to go and I'm going to relax and I'm not going to think about anything. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm just going to be all relaxed. My mind is going to be clear. I'm going to enjoy whatever. I'm going to the beach. I'm going to the squad to eat. I'm going to go out and do a little shopping. Maybe you need to take a vacation if you're mentally drained. 
Maybe you need to let some stuff go in your life. Maybe you're doing too much. To get to that high level, do whatever you need to do to get to the high level. And make sure, okay, if you're physically drained, sometimes I hear people say, you know, I'm so tired physically. Sometimes you may need to start taking your vitamins if you're not doing that. You know, you may say, you know what, doctor gave me this to take, da da da. Or maybe you need to start eating right. Maybe you start drinking water. Whatever it is that you need to do. You know, maybe you need to start exercising more, you know. Because if you burn energy, you get energy. You know, it's just that, that simple. I know whenever I, um, I'm working out, I feel better and I have more energy. And when I'm not working out, you know, I can tell. Maybe, you know, your iron is low. Whatever it is, you may just take, when I'm saying take control, take charge of your life. Take, take charge of what you're, you're doing. And so then that way, you can move to the high level. Don't let another year come in in your life and you're at the same level. Don't do that. Short story, I was watching this TV show and the guy said he was getting in trouble and he told his boss, he said, I've been doing this for 30 years. I've been doing it the same way for 30 years and hadn't had a problem with it. And his boss said, that's the problem. You've been doing it the same way for 30 years. You should have been to change something by now. So if you've been doing the same thing for however long, you need to change something. I'm going to leave you with that. Think about it. Move to a higher level. I'm Dr. Lee. Thank you for watching. Call us on our inspiration line, one eight 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 me kim inc Again, one eight 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 M E T I M I N C. Hit us up on the website, www.pleasekim.com, www.pleasekim.com. Email me, Dr. Lee, at pleasekim.com, D-R-P-R-L-I at pleasekim.com. And thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, let go, let God, and keep it moving. Go where your faith can go. Keep it moving. Faith is acting like you believe in what you say. Moving in your faith from place to place, stage to new stage. Keep it moving. New mountains you can have. Mountains are moving when you say Keep it moving Keep it moving Keep it moving on Keep it moving on Stop on it and rest yourself You can have what you say Keep it moving on Keep it moving Keep it moving on Keep it moving, keep it moving on, whatever you believe.